Good morning and good day. Welcome to another edition. We got a low impact cardio core yoga here for you. You want to start things off by getting warmed up for the first minute. These will be approximately one minute triple sets with about 15 seconds of transition between and I will talk you through the entire workout. So warming up here, making sure that we're getting the entire body flowing with some high knees, some arm cross swings, working some hip openers here to the right and then to the left. If you're mirroring the image, you can do the opposite legs. And finishing off the warm up with a little slow lateral hops or skaters. Twisting that core into it, working our way into our first activity here, which is going to be walk down push ups. As you walk down, you want to keep a nice flat back, bring your hands to the mat and walk it out and do a push up. Now I'm doing two push ups here, but you could certainly do five push ups or you could just do one push up and come back up. Trying to keep this on a low impact trajectory. Little shoulder roll here as we continue to warm up bringing it down with that flat back, walking it out into our push-up. Bringing it up nice and slow, flat back, nice shoulder shrug, getting the body nice and warmed up. Walking it back down into a push-up push up you're working the chest muscles triceps doing the walk down you're doing a whole bunch of things hamstrings lower back walking to the front of the mat we're going to do our first yoga sequence deep breath in into chair pose breathing in breathing out standing straight up bringing the arms out wide Put your arms behind you. Do a bit of a chest stretch here. Lean it over into a nice flat back hamstring and exhale into a fold. Bringing your hands to the mat. You're gonna bring your legs back and you're gonna bring yourself down to the mat. Nice deep breath in, go into up dog. You can turn your head from the right to the left and stretch that neck out a little bit and push yourself back into downward dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Walk yourself back up, flat back. And we're gonna work ourselves into our first core activity which is going to be a plank for one minute. Bring yourself down into that plank. Make yourself nice and flat, elbows on the floor. You wanna to try to make a straight line from your shoulders down through your ankles. As you do this, breathe in and breathe out and try to suck that core up in to your spine and hold it there using your core to keep you flat and straight breathing in breathing out as you do this focus on the breath to help you get through breathe in breathe out and believe that you can get through the plank. If you can't, you can bring yourself down to a knee and do a modified plank, but try to push yourself each time you do them. Bringing yourself to all fours, walking yourself up to your feet. We're gonna work our first 
low impact cardio, which is going to be a slow lateral hops. So you see as I'm doing lateral hops here, I'm also doing kind of a row. So it's like a lateral hop and row and really pulling back on those back muscles, breathing in, breathing out, focusing my way through this low impact cardio. Switching it up with 30 seconds into regular skaters or lateral hops. Working it back and forth, twisting that core, turning away from it, trying to get a nice twist in the core as we go. You can certainly move slower if you would like or faster if you're up to it. Again, just trying to keep this on a low impact level. Back and forth, working it down. Probably about 10 seconds left. Breathing in, breathing out. Walk yourself back to the mat. You're gonna take a nice deep breath in and step back with your right leg. Breathing in, exhaling. Grab that left elbow and pull, do an arm cross pull. Plant that right hand and twist yourself up to the sky. Breathing in, breathing out. Straighten that left leg and get a nice hamstring stretch. Bring yourself back up to the front. Step back with the left. Nice deep breath in, arm circle. Grab your right elbow and do an arm cross pull. Breathing in, breathing out. Plant that left hand and reach to the sky. Breathing in, breathing out. Straighten your right leg and get a nice stretch through your butt and hamstring. Breathing in, breathing out. We're gonna bring it to bird dogs here. So bring it down to all fours. Do a nice exhale into cat pose and then inhale as you reach out with the right hand and left leg out. Alternating on this, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So as you alternate, and you reach out, you breathe in. When you come back, you breathe out and push your belly, suck your belly up towards your spine into a cat. Really just working that core today. Low impact activities. When we go out, we're working our glutes, lower back, working our shoulders. Probably get about 10 on each side during this bird dog exercise. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring yourself up. We're going to bring ourselves up to our feet and we're going to do three twists with a knee. I'm going to use a five pound ball here one two three knee left side one two three knee so we're going we're going one two three knee we're alternating the sides that we are hitting with the odd number we can go from right to left back and forth one two three left one two three right all the while you're breathing your way through the activity breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out try to find your rhythm as you do the activity you're going to suck your core in and working a nice twist as you go along here Okay, we close that one out. We're going to work our way back to the mat. Go to the left side of the mat. 
facing forward here towards the towards you step to the right so right leg out into warrior two nice deep breath in grab your right elbow into an arm cross pull switch it into a tricep extension nice deep breath in hand on the knee slide it down towards the ankle into triangle breathing in breathing out now step to the left nice deep breath in grab that left elbow and do an arm cross pull now do a tricep extension take that left hand put it on your knee slide it down your leg into triangle breathing in breathing out nice deep breath in we're going to work our way to the floor here butt and back on the floor we're going to do suitcases so suitcase crunches you're going to put your heels and feet together your hands lightly behind your head and you're going to inhale and then exhale on your way up. So as you go out, inhale. As you come up, exhale. And try to pull your core down towards your spine as you're coming up. Breathing in, breathing out. You do not want to pull hard on the back of your head. You simply are just putting your hands there. You want to try to bring your elbows to your knees as you exhale and come up into that crunch. And try to find your rhythm with the breath. Inhaling on the way out, exhaling on the way in. Exhale, inhale, back and forth. Working that core. Rolling yourself over, we're going to come up to our feet. Our next exercise is going to be a high knee march for one minute. wrap up that high knee march we're going to work ourselves back over to the mat with our legs spread in a v and we're going to bring ourselves down with a flat back and do a rotation a roundabout rotation here going all the way around clockwise and then bringing it about bringing it back counterclockwise so the whole time you want to keep a nice flat back. You do, you do not want to jeopardize your back getting hurt. So you want to activate it, making sure that you are um, not going to pull any muscles there. Giving you a different angle here, trying to demonstrate a flat back. Really working your core all the way around. Breathing in, then breathing out. Breathing in, then breathing out. Working that core all the way around on this low impact journey. Wrapping that up, we're going to lay down flat on our backs 
and do X crunches. So we're gonna be spread out, legs in a V, arms out, and we're gonna reach all the way across from right leg to left and then left leg to right. So exhale on the way up, inhale on the way back. Suck that core in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Try to find your rhythm to get yourself through the exercise. Alternating hands and feet with each rep. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Working your way through. Focusing on that core, getting a nice twist on the core, sucking it in. Believing with every breath that you can finish this exercise. You can do it. Roll yourself up. You're going to walk up to your feet here. And we are going to work into air squats. So you're going to bring your hands on the back of your head with a flat back. Bring yourself down into a squat. Inhale, exhale as you come up. Inhale, exhale as you come up. Find your rhythm with your breath and with your body. Breathing in, breathing out. Try to get your squat nice and deep. You want to get your Legs parallel to the floor as you come down and as you come up, you want to squeeze those cheeks together and flex those quads. Trying to keep it low impact here. We have no weight. If you can only do like five or six of these, make that your baseline. Our next activity is going to be a yoga sequence, our downward dog into child's pose. So breathe in, breathe out, walk down, exhale, and you're going to walk yourself down into downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bring yourself forward. Flat on the mat. Inhale. Bring yourself up into upward dog. Exhale. Bring yourself back into child's pose. Reaching forward. Exhaling. You're going to bring your left arm across your body, getting a nice arm cross pull in that child's pose. Breathe in and switch to the right arm. Bring that right arm through and underneath. And you're going to bring yourself up. Take a nice deep breath in. Reach yourself back. Bring your butt to the ground with your heels on the floor into back bridge so you're going to bridge yourself up again heels to your butt and then push your butt and torso up and holding it there breathing in breathing out focus on getting yourself through the back bridge you're working those glutes the lower back hamstrings Breathing in and breathing out. About 20 more seconds here. Let your breath take you through. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your butt back down. Bring yourself up to your feet. 
and we are going to do a side leg raise starting with the right side. So bringing your right leg up directly to the side. You want to try to get as many reps as you can. We are on one minute interval, so I believe I did 15 in 30 seconds. So if you can do 10 and then switch, or if you can do 12, if you can do all 15, by all means, do all 15. Switching sides at 30 seconds. Three, four, trying to really focus on breathing and focusing on tightening up that core and trying to keep it in the same location as you are doing your leg raise. Breathing in and breathing out, trying to find your rhythm. All right, we got a little couple seconds here and we're going to go down to pigeon pose. So go to the back of the mat, bring your right leg forward across your body, take a nice deep breath up to the sky and then exhale your body across that leg. Inhale Bring your right hand back to your left ankle and do a quad pull. Nice deep breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, switch legs. Put your left leg in front of your right. And exhale across that leg. Inhale, reach back with the left hand and grab your right ankle into a quad pull. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And release that leg. And bring yourself up to your feet for a high knee march. You're going to do a high knee march for one minute. Ending that high knee march, we're going to work ourselves down to the floor, butt on the floor, legs in a V. And we're going to do a big toe stretch. Take a nice deep breath in and then exhale. Reach for those toes. If you can only get your hands to your knees, your shins, get there. Inhale, exhale to the right. Leaning over, stretching your back, your hamstring. Inhale, exhale to the left. Bring yourself to the middle. Put your heels and feet together at butterfly. Inhale and then exhale. Pull yourself forward. Nice deep stretch. Release. Put your right leg over your left and twist back to the right. Breathing in, breathing out. Put your left leg across the right and twist back to the left. Bring yourself to center. 
cooling it down at this point. You're going to bring your right leg up. I'm using a band here, stretching the hamstring. Bring that right leg to the left and twist your torso away to the right into a nice deep twist. Hitting your hamstrings. Bring your right leg across your left and pull it back into a deep glute stretch. Now switch, you're gonna bring your left leg up and twist it over to the right and twist your torso away to the left, breathing in and breathing out. Bring that left leg across the right into deep glute stretch, breathing in, breathing out. Bring your feet to the floor. Into our next activity, which is going to be stomach vacuums. So we're gonna catch our breath, inhale, and then exhale, suck your core down to your spine and hold it. Inhale, and then exhale, vacuum out that stomach. Pull that core down to your spine, pull the belly button down towards the spine. Inhale, and then exhale. Vacuum it out. Work that inner, inner core. Try to get one more rep. Inhale, exhale, sucking the core in. Work your way back up to your feet, and we are going to work our upper body stretches. I'm going to use the band here to do a chest stretch. You can use the wall and switch right and left. I'm simply using the band to, to work both chest muscles, opening it up, breathing in, trying to get a nice stretch. Take your right elbow and do an arm cross pull. Give yourself a nice big hug for this workout and switch. Left elbow, arm cross pull, nice deep breath, stretch out that neck, that shoulder. Grab your right elbow behind your head and get a tricep stretch. And then switch over to your left and stretch that left tri tricep. Breathing in, breathing out. Grab your left hand and pull it down. Stretch out that forehand, forearm and bicep. Hit the other side. And we're gonna wrap it up here with the foam roller. Now the foam roller, you can improv, hit those areas that you feel most sore. I'm working the upper shoulders and neck here. Working my way down. I roll it back out to the calves for three or four reps. And then I move it towards the hamstring for I think two reps on each side. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring the roller in front of you and reach out just like child's pose and just take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Put the roller behind you and sit back into your heels. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale into child's pose. Congrats. You did it.